Facebook. Yeah, I'm, I'm recording it now. You can do. That'd be great. Just to tell you what your viewers, what is happening and why. Yeah. And I'm going to stay quiet and just get on with it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need both to stop it. I'm going to get this glove on. Here it is. Once bitten, twice so. Right. I'm throwing this up for the bloody glow on. You alright? Uh, no, I'm hurting, but uh, that's unusual when you do this. Alright, well, Wayne, I'm John Swift. This is my daughter, Liz. Hey. Um, Wayne has got a colony of bees has set up home in his compost bin. Now, it's not a swarm. Swarm happened sometime previously when the hive split and the queen leaves with half the bees. They hold up in a tree somewhere in a big ball and when the scouts find somewhere suitable to live, they move in. Now, it looks like this hive, or this colony I should say, has been here a while, at least a month, because there are young bees in there. We know that because they're coming out and flying around looking to find, looking to recognise where the hive is. And they're also taking pollen in on the back legs and they do that when they are making bee bread to feed the young larvae. So we know what we have here is a semi-mature colony. Now obviously we can't leave it here, it's right up against a public footpath. So we're going to open the compost bin and take out the bees and the comb by hand. Now the bees are not going to like this because as far as they're concerned, we are taking away the young and the queen and they tend to get a little bit antsy about that. So this could be a bit exciting. So this is a much more risky and exciting, let's put it that way. That's why I'm shaking. <laughs> a lot more risky than, um, than uh, catching a swarm. Swarms are placid because they've got no young to defend and these bees will defend their young. So we make sure we are suited up carefully. Wayne, by the way, behind the camera is well suited up. And there you go. Right. Okay. We are going to try and stop Wayne getting stung. Right, you want to suit up, Dad? I think we're about ready here. Let's have a look. All I need. So this is. That's uh, just some fuel for the smoker. Right. Right. That's just something to burn. Dried flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Beans and stuff. And this is where the, the, the I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the wax out, put it, frame it, put it in the centre of these frames and hold it in with these elastic bands temporarily until they can glue themselves in position and then put them in this box. Right. And I've got 10 frames, so I'll get the majority of their stuff. Oh. Well, just stand there. Yeah. You get 56 things in about 10 minutes. Guaranteed. Edward's joined us. <laughs> it's not live, he's just recorded. Oh. Get this recorded. It's about to get interesting. Yeah. You're just in time. Alright, that's what established. <laughs> Take over. Yeah. And oh, jeez. <laughs> Talk about it. <laughs> Liz, we've got to get something other than that uh, little light. Uh, when the blow lamp went off, it burnt the end. Oh, yeah. You know, one of these long ones. Yeah, uh, one of the oven lights. Yeah, yeah. And we'll get one. And I've got just got some burnt hand. It's okay. No, we're not staying in that building. Hang on. You see that, isn't it? Well, I'll save to get closer. So I'm going to stay there. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> They've gone onto the roof of the, the roof. That's what I thought, yeah. Excellent. They've gone onto the roof, right. Can we take the hunt? No. <laughs> Why not? We're not alone. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Look. Look at that look. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, oh, nice. Check this out. Basically, you right. bring the whole thing and cut it. There's one's on the side, but I can get that one. Right. You cut many there. Let me get a glove on, Louis. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Dad. Watch them worms. Oh, it's alright. They'll ignore them. It's amazing. <laughs> So we're looking for a big, bigger, big, a big queen. Her big queen. queen's longer than the others. But she could be anywhere. She could be anywhere in there. And they're not, they're, they're not like attacked, have they? No, I told you when I was here last, these seem like quite a placid bunch. If they attack, you will apply a figure of eight around your face. And if you do that, back you off. Back off. So they'll be going. If you don't go away, I will sting you. <laughs> it's interesting to see, Liz. They yeah. begin, they put the comb straight at first and now they're beginning to follow the radius of the bin. Yeah, they've done this, they've done right to the edge of the... <laughs> they, they, you know the... Oh my god. You know the, and, the, the, the handle, it, it kind of, that's kind of hollow underneath there, I believe. So it might be down. Maybe down um, a bit. Are we going to start with the one that's on the Yeah, I'm going to start with that one on the stand. There's another... <laughs> They are Look, placid. On, on. This is a really placid hive, Liz. Every hive has a different personality. Yeah. Some are grumpy, really bad tempered, and they'll follow you down the street trying to sting you. And some don't give a shit. <laughs> I mean, some work hard and produce a lot of honey, some don't. Some produce a lot of wax, some don't. So I don't think you're in any danger. I really don't. I'm never. This is a really placid hive. Well, it's a colony. I don't know. Hive oh, is made of wood. Yeah, a colony is made of bees. Yeah. <laughs> Although they can turn a bit hostile when uh, yeah, the bee, the the, the, the queen's going to be right in the middle of that, isn't she? Not necessarily. No. No. She could be down down any one of these. She'll be down there laying eggs somewhere. You see how white that comb is? Yeah. That means it's up freshly made. So, uh, uh, would you say how long? Would a week? Would you like from Monday? Oh, that's more than a week. That. Really? I was this comb, look. <coughs> oh, not a month. I can't see any. But it's not a week. No. It's not a week, is it? Not a week. There's your hoodie. How do you want to handle this? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll hold this. Yeah. There's the honey look. Let me see. I've never been stung by it. I'm going to need a bigger box. That's the chicken. I wonder what that has is chickens. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. If you could band these up for me, Dad. Okay. Put another one on the other side. And we should put the bands on before it's dark. I'd go away. Go away. More well, there, there. Stay there. <laughs> Good lad. Just in case. Wow, this is really warm, this one. Stick them there. Yeah. <laughs> what, there no that's one way of putting it. Oh well, we might have to redo that one. Oh, that's a really mm. right mess. I'm going to shake my hand. Oh. There's a lot of bees on my hand. Yes. A few checks with the bees, but I doubt it because there's no eggs here. That was, a, that was stores. We don't want to do that with the ones with eggs in. How do you tell which one's the queen? It's a longer abdomen. She's bigger. Oh. But it's, it basically it's a Where's Wally picture. Yeah. She's very similarly dressed. Yeah. <laughs> There's a longer bigger. abdomen. Right. 
what we need, Miss. Alright. I've got to get these more things in there. Right. Yeah. Let that buzz in there for a bit. Let's see if we can get do better with the these ones. Yeah. Look at them, do some VIV. <laughs> Buzzing, aren't they? Yeah, I'm surprised they're not stinging. I've got the clip in my pocket. <sighs> um, you know. Could you hold that for me? Yeah, thing? sure. You know the handle, the, the handle of that, this bend? Yeah. I think there's a hollow bit where I'm not 100% sure, so. See how it is? Yeah. Are you with yeah. me? Yeah. Oh, it don't matter. We'll find the way to the Queen. And the Queen is almost certain. would like to be able to establish the Queen's there, but. The Queen is almost certain in the middle of that ball. It's down there. It's down there. The smoke sedates them and uh, they don't like it so they move out of the way. So Liz is smoking them to calm them down and move them out of the way so she doesn't crush them as she leaves us this cool out. Like you to do. <laughs> Go away, go away, go away. Turn it out a bit. Yeah, can we get that in? Just so. Get on the bed, shall I? That is B. Taking it out of its curvy shape has made it break. After that chunk of the time was. Yeah. Think, remember, this is not wired. Nope. Right down. So it's. Something, something like oh. We're going to wrap here. It might just be grab the comb and stick them in the box, Dad, and put the frames in. Because okay. these are not staying in. We're going to do into the queen, eh? Can we... We've got eggs. Sure, she's in there. So she's in there. Alright. Right. What? No, th th this is too soft. It's right. Too, it's too not, new. It's okay. too new. It's just going as soon as it's just examining every one we put in there and try and make sure the queen's okay. This is going to be long, Dad. I'm looking for the queen. Yeah. Evidence of queen. Hang on. No. Now remember, she's got no dots on <laughs> This is a where's Wally ever Ow, she's got stung. Oh, 
Well, that's going to suck later. Not if you get gloves. Yep. I think it was a precious thing. I, cr I bent my finger and the bee happened to be in the joint. Just happened to be there. I happened to be there. <laughs> <laughs> See where I got it got me right in the crevice of my finger there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of used to being stung now. When we first started about five or six years ago, my hand used to swell up in red, and swell up for days and itch like now. Yeah. Now it just hurts and goes red a few hours. You kind of get I mean, I mean. not talking More smoke enough. please dad they're getting kind of cross. <laughs> you might want to step back on the first. I bet she's right in the middle. Yep. Well, that's where you're most likely to find her. But you should be surprised sometimes. You find her on the lid even. Yeah, yeah. The one thing you know about bees for certain, there's no such thing as normal. Oh, there it is. That's the only little. I thought it was bigger. <coughs> it's only a. It's that way, yeah. They're not too much on that. Oh, So you, the queen will be in there then? Well, we're hoping so. Yeah. When, when they start displaying behaviour like she's in there, we know we've got her. With you. At the moment, she could be either there, there, or there. Oh, just noticed that. There's still loads of bees over there. I 
and I'm sorry for you won't. <laughs> oh, they'll be all right. <laughs> That's the Actually, I'm going to whack them. So yeah. Quite clear, actually. Smoke, smoke, smoke. They're going to run around like video. Yeah. I know it looks. Brutal, but it's better than being in a compost bin. Right. right, now it's time to scoop and bring. Should I bring the box up before you can brush them into it? Nah, there's loads on the inside, I'm going to have to scoop. Okay. Another cone on the inside lip. Might be on that one. Amazing. Complicated things are the inside of beehives, and you've only seen part of them. Uh, nah, it's not as big as I thought. It was just a little dinky winky one. Right. Scooping time. Scooping I've not, that. I've not been attacked yet. I've only had a compression sting. Well, you can't blame me for that. And considering I squished them and I'm holding them and manipulating them, I'm surprised they've got stuck in. The side of it, look. Right, I think we could do with a lid, Dad, and then open it as. seeing if they're displaying, uh, we've got the queens. We'll start if we got the queen because the queen will be in there and they'll fan the queen's pheromone scents out into the atmosphere to attract all the other bees. Second and stage. if we see them fanning like this we know the queen's in there. They smell with their antennae, a really, really good sense of smell. And they listen with their antennae as well. Well, I've not screamed like a little girl yet. You've not been stung yet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You can't do this at night. No. You, can't, you can't do it in thundery weather because it, it makes them all edgy and jumpy and aggressive. Ow. Stung? Yeah, well then I was stung three times now. So. Yeah, don't do beekeeping if you can't stand a bit of pain. So they. <clears throat> if the queen's in there, yes. they'll be around, like hovering around there then. 
the, the colony can transmit the pheromone one to another until within 20 minutes every bee in there will know she's there. Right. I reckon we put this box a bit closer and we'll have a cup of tea and see if they uh, go towards the box or go back over there. Right, and put the kettle on. Oh, if you don't mind. Yeah. I think that would be the best for. Do you want to choke that smoker? Because at that moment there. Do you want to choke that smoker? Yes, sir. We'll leave it there for now and uh, we'll be right back. Press that button. Cheers. That one.